What's good people? Welcome back to the video. Today we're reacting to Brockhampton, Ready for War. This is a bit of a weird one. Someone commented this on one of my last videos saying to check this out and that fans think it's one of their best tracks apparently. This is off an album Puppy that wasn't released. Unsure as to why it wasn't released. Was this the one that didn't get released due to stuff with Amir Van and whatnot? I don't know. This is unreleased though, so there's like multiple versions on YouTube that all basically say like oh, better quality, better quality. I don't know how good this is gonna be. But I'm intrigued to listen to something that's unreleased. If the quality is shit, it's apologies. It's just there's not really a lot I can do, but hopefully it should be fine. I haven't done any Brockhampton in a while, to be honest. I just did a shitload of Brockhampton and sort of just wanted to switch it up. But I know like a few of you from the beginning subscribe to Brockhampton, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. I'm hyped. It's unreleased as well, so it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued to know what sort of sound they're going for for this project. And uh, maybe I'm going to be upset that they didn't release this project. But uh, let's get it ready for war, Brockhampton. Let's do it. How bad is this quality going to be then? Bring your mind. Open up your eyes and you'll find you will fly. Just on a piano. Welcome to the real Everybody pray for peace when they don't have the power. A disconnect of intellect. Mm. Know some people pack the straps, you would call them cowards. The realest G's I ever met. Not on the gangster shit, not on the paper shit. Just don't that have to provide for my kids and shit. There's blood on the streets and if I had a dream, I'd do anything. I'm it's interesting, I haven't listened to Brockhampton in a while and uh, yeah, it's just as good as when I was listening to it regularly. Joba sounding fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, this quality is absolutely awful. Hope it's not too awful for you. I hope you guys like are aware this is unreleased and a bit shit. You probably do if you're checking this out. Or I've just fucked this and there's like a sick version of it somewhere. But uh but yeah, let's keep going. Make mistakes, the shit that you care about ain't just in movies, dog. I see some shit. Bag them up in body bags, zip them up and send them away from the kids. It's hard to hear, but the production sounding cool. I don't know what that little thing is that's going back and forth from the background. It's just definitely Brockhampton-esque sound, obviously. Uh, I'm, I'm unaware as to when this album was supposed to come out, because I'd like to know sort of whereabouts and the evolution it was. This is sounding really dope. I wish this was like good quality and I could hear it properly. I am listening. I can hear it properly. It's just obviously... The, the listen isn't as good, but I'm appreciating it for what it is. Balance, good drug dealers, good people, bad system, bad people. Wow. If you got a dream and you know what that means, you could do anything. Just make a chance. Like Sometimes that. I think back. Boy made fun of my lips. I should have thrown a tantrum. But I remain cool because he was way too handsome. Now I'm out in Beverly Hills using a mansion as my canvas. I bought a helicopter, threw that bitch on stage. RCA gave us money. We ain't throw it away. We took that shit with the best shit we made just come with it pop. They like me, I want them to love me like them niggas love pack. I'm daylight so me. Trap call quests. I'm Della Soul and Tricool Quest. Always got a shout out, uh, the OGs. Whatever, what was that as well? That synth of some sort that just came in? Fuck, man. Jesus. I can, I can understand what you mean. Kevin's got hard of this as well. I'm not gonna lie guys, this quality is awful. I do apologise for this. Can someone let me know in the comments if there's like a better version of it? Obviously I'm reacting to this now, so I'm not gonna react to it, but I'd like to hear a better version of this. How about I've just picked a shit one on YouTube? Just got the one that says unreleased louder, better quality. They're pretty much all that. I don't know why I was enticed to this one. I don't know if this is just an awful version of it, but this is sounding hard, man. I'm finding it slightly hard to hear Dom uh, compared to Kevin, but I think this has got a bit of a like, higher, he's got more of a high pitched voice, but this is hard, man. I wish, I, I just wish I could hear this properly, like as a proper fucking track. I wonder where the outlet 
just did it happen quite a far. So tell me if you really think it's unrealistic. Here at this point for me to not prepare and I'm on this trip. They shout their hands up while they deploy and they're ballistic. We shout our hands up and kids will need to go ballistic. The difference in our league is extraordinary. Minorities against the identity. Representing the door and he moved between them accordingly. It clutched my rosaries for the trying and they're all for me. It's all for me. That's what the forerunners told me. This is not your speed. Why they repeated their beliefs from the Apostles' Creed. The most consistency I found in life has never come from people. Still looking for an equal. Nobody will believe you. God ain't give me a penny. I made a million dollars. Yeah. I got a thug for a father, so I took care of my mother. I think this is the one that didn't get released because of all the shit that happened with Amir and they just restarted because he was on a few of the tracks. Tell me if I'm wrong or not, but uh, yeah, Amir's sounding hard as he's come in. I can understand a bit more, he's got a lower voice. Uh, he's talking about not having a dad, so he's supported his mum, I think. I don't know. Let's keep going. I'm liking this though. We're only halfway, this is a long track, man. I don't know why this is all like leaks. This all leaks if someone's managed to like combined together. It does feel like it's off some sort of video or something. God threw me a fire. I walked out with my brothers. You know the shadow of death. I was born in the valley, but now I live in the valley. God gave me a house. God gave me depression. God gave us life, but we ain't know it was cursed. I was hurt as a child. You know I still deal with it. Now I'm a grown ass man with immature ass feelings. All I wanted was money just to get it and spend it. On strippers and weed. I skip on the liquor. I can't talk to my niggas because if I say it, it's real, and I ain't ready to face it. I've been flirting with Satan. I've been flirting with women that like to dance when they naked. And I throw all of my dollars. I throw all of my problems to the back of my throat. But we smoking Kalana, and I'm a... Classic Amir Van verse. Very emotional, putting everything out on the line. So one thing I do really appreciate about him is that, like I said, he puts everything on the line. He just instantly becomes extremely vulnerable to the listener, and it sort of helps you not relate, but it gives you a better understanding of what he's sort of going for. And you just know what he raps about is real shit. And I always appreciate that from someone. Myself. About three days ago, I plan on killing myself. Love but I'm still here breathing. You know I'm still here screaming. Yeah, he just said he thought about killing himself. He's still here breathing. He's still here screaming. Yeah, man, that's real, real shit. Screaming, fuck that shit. We signed for 15 million. And I almost mm. missed it. I know that y'all niggas hear me. Way more cinematic than the usual Brockhampton stuff I've heard. Like I'm quite surprised by these strings and stuff. It's beautiful and it sounds amazing. It just was not what I was expecting in the slightest. And it sort of makes me think that like Dama wish they released this project if all this stuff is like this. Okay guys, that was Brockhampton, Ready For War, an unreleased track from the album Puppy. Really cool, thank you for ever uh, recommended this. The quality was a bit awful, uh, you know, it's at times it was a struggle, but you try and see through it, and I felt the song sounded that good that I was able to sort of get over that relatively quickly. I would just love to hear this track in its fullest. I don't think they probably will ever release it. They might do in the future. This sounded great, man. They all sounded solid. It's great to revisit Brockhampton. I thought the production was really dope. I love the strings coming in and shit. Like I said, it's more cinematic than their usual stuff, and you don't really expect that. So I'm, I'm just disappointed this project never saw the surface or that they at least didn't release the tracks. 
Kevin's verse really stood out to me. Uh, so did Amir Vanu move. I'm assuming some real shit, but Job at the beginning was smooth. I couldn't really hear Bareface too much at the end, to be honest. Obviously, you know, I knew it was him kind of standing. And I found Dom hard as well. I just felt like some voices were a bit lower and slightly more clearer. Really enjoyed Kevin's verse. So shout out Della Soul, Tribal Quest. You sort of understand their influences straight away, especially Kevin's influences. He has just you can just when you listen, you can just hear so many different flavors, which is just fantastic. He's a student of the game sort of thing. Anyway guys, if you like the video, drop a like. If you enjoy my action enough to the point when you see me again, then please do drop a sub. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description below. If you have any requests, put them in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this reaction, what you think of this track. Uh, yeah guys, I've been Charlie and I'll see you in the next one.